so students in the last section we have discussed about the mechanism of ionic bonding where we had several states at the end of the mechanism we dealt with a word that was lattice energy now in this section we shall be dealing that how we can determine the lattice energy during any ionic bonding so for that we have got a particular process which is named as born hebus cycle which we have to use for determining the lattice energy during ionic bonding now let's come to the topic that what does born hebus cycle mean so we shall be starting this born hebus cycle with an example let's take an example that magnesium solid on combining with oxygen forms magnesium oxide solid through ionic bonding here we have got magnesium being a metal will have a solid phase existence next we have got dioxygen it will be having gaseous phase existence these two will combine with each other through ionic bonding forming magnesium oxide which will be a lattice so basically when there will be formation of magnesium oxide as a lattice there will be involvement of some certain energy which we call as lattice energy and that energy has to be determined through the help of born hebus cycle so firstly let's come to the mechanism that how this ionic bonding between magnesium and oxygen take place so as already we have discussed in mechanism that firstly that in the first step magnesium solid will be converted into magnesium vapor means gas we are doing so because as we are discussing about the ionic bonding that means magnesium has to undergo the loss of electron and electronic loss or electronic removal can only take place when a particular atom has got gaseous phase existence so firstly we have converted the solid magnesium into gaseous magnesium and since phase transition is taking place so we have to provide energy and that energy will be called as heat of sublimation as we have already discussed what does this mean in step 2 now we will be having that magnesium gas when provided with ionization energy will be converted into magnesium 2 positive so here once we provide ionization energy to magnesium the two electrons present in the valence shell of magnesium will be excited and they will come out of the valence shell now in the step third oxygen will undergo the gain of the two electrons obtained from the valence shell of magnesium atom but student we have discussed in the last section that electrons can only be added or removed from an atom when it is gaseous and has got isolated existence means it should be in uncombined state and as we are finding here that oxygen is in the form of o2 that is it is in the combined state so firstly we have to convert combined state oxygen into isolated state means in step third o2 will be converted into let us take half o2 so we will be getting o gas here and this will lead again gain of energy will take place and that we shall be calling it as heat of dissociation now in the next step that is in the step 4 the electrons of magnesium will be added to oxygen O2 negative and since electrons are being added to the valence shell of oxygen atom so that will lead to the loss of energy and that will be called as heat of electron gain now in step 5 Mg2 plus obtained in the second step and O2 negative obtained in the fourth step will combine together to form magnesium oxide solid that is basically the lattice here during the formation of this lattice there will be loss of energy and that energy will be called as lattice energy now we have to determine this lattice energy through the born hebus cycle so let's come to know what does born hebus cycle mean basically we are finding here that when magnesium and oxygen in this example combine together to form magnesium oxide through ionic bonding we are following here five step now when we represent the mechanism and the overall reaction as here we are finding that the reaction has been represented in only one step that is the overall representation of reaction is this now in the next way we are finding here that we are representing the same reaction by using its various steps involved that means we are involving the mechanism so when we consider the one step process and the mechanism and by using both the two when we represent these in the form of a cycle then that will become born hebus cycle means if i write the same process as magnesium solid is being converted into magnesium gas 
that will be done by the provision of energy, which is called heat of sublimation. In the next step, magnesium gas on the provision of ionization energy will convert into magnesium 2 positive. Similarly, we have got O2. This has to be converted into uncombined state, that is O, by the provision of energy, which we say heat of dissociation. In the next step, when we add electrons into oxygen atoms, that will lead to the release of energy, that is heat of electron gain, and that will form O2 negative. When we combine these two, we will undergo the formation of magnesium oxide solid, and this will lead to the loss of energy, which is called lattice energy. Now, this has been created on the basis of the mechanism involved during this ionic bonding, which we have already illustrated. Now, if we consider the whole process as a one-step process, then we can write it as that magnesium plus oxygen are combining together to form magnesium oxide. So here we are finding that once we consider only one-step process of this reaction, and if we consider the mechanism by using the together, we are finding that uh, there is a cyclic form. So the cyclic form representation of a process will be called as Born-Haber cycle and this has to be utilized in the calculation of lattice energy. So again, when we represent the overall reaction one step, there will be involvement of some energy which we are calling it as delta HR. That means heat energy or energy involved in overall process of the reaction. So we can define here that Born-Haber cycle is the cyclic form representation of a process by using one step process of overall reaction and mechanism of reaction. So we have already observed here that the same reaction which we have discussed earlier using its mechanism and one step process. By using its one step process and mechanism, we are finding a cyclic form. So this cyclic form will be called as born haber cycle. Now using born haber cycle, we have to determine this lattice energy that is U. Now to determine this lattice energy through born haber cycle, we have to discuss a law on which Born-Haber cycle is based. 